The aircraft carrier, the mightiest weapon in any Navy's arsenal, an uncontested ruler of the high seas. But it wasn't always this way, and when they were first developed, aircraft carriers were more a curiosity than a real weapon of war. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Infographic Show. Today we're taking a look at the evolution, history, and some things you might have never known in 50 surprising facts about aircraft carriers. 50. Aircraft carriers are basically floating airfields, so they're a little hard to hide. But in World War II, the Japanese did just that, developing three submersible aircraft carriers that could carry three planes each and cruise just below the waves. Innovative, but ultimately ineffective, they had little impact on the war. 49. U.S. supercarriers are called that for a reason. One U.S. supercarrier has a larger air force than 70% of all countries in the world. 48. The U.S. Navy has over 2,000 aircraft, which makes it by itself the world's fourth largest air force after China and before India. 47. The French have an aircraft carrier named after Marshal of France Ferdinand Foch, who in 1911 was quoted as saying, airplanes are interesting toys, but of no military value. 46. Brazilian shipbrokers once tried to sell a retired aircraft carrier, the HMS Vengeance, on eBay for $7 million. 45. The U.S. Navy's newest class of aircraft carrier, the Gerald R. Ford class, costs $7 million a day to operate. 44. The initial price tag of a Ford class carrier is $18 billion, making it the most expensive warship ever built. 43. Despite being known as having the most technologically advanced military on Earth, the Ford class is the US's first new aircraft carrier in over 40 years. 42. The Ford class carriers were all designed using a three-dimensional model, with hundreds of designers, engineers, and planners logging on and working on creating the ship's features from inside the model every single day. 41. Ford class carriers are 1,090 feet long and displace 100,000 tons, about the same size as the Nimitz class they are replacing, but they will carry up to 900 less crew thanks to automation. 40. Each Ford class carrier carries up to 90 aircraft and can launch a maximum of 220 sorties per day. 39. A single Ford class carrier has over 9,800,000 feet of electrical wiring. 38. Ford class carriers aren't just the ultimate guardians of the ocean, they're also committed to keeping them clean. All of the solid waste generated by its crew of about 4,200 sailors will be vaporized with superheated plasma. 37. A nuclear-powered aircraft carrier can operate for more than 20 years without refueling. 36. Besides the US, only one other nation has ever built a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, France. 35. China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, was originally a decommissioned Soviet carrier, which China bought from Ukraine via a front company pretending to want to use the carrier as a floating casino. 34. While filming Top Gun, director Tony Scott paid the US Navy $25,000 to have the aircraft carrier turn for one shot in the film, so he could have the sun backlighted. 33. Due to material shortages during World War II, the British experimented with and had serious plans to build an aircraft carrier primarily made out of wood pulp and ice. 32. During the 1970s, the US Air Force experimented with plans to build an airborne aircraft carrier from a Boeing 747. 31. In 1929, Tacoma, Washington got most of its power from hydroelectric dams, but when a drought severely lowered the water levels, an aircraft carrier, the USS Lexington, helped power the city for a month. 30. On May 7, 1957, while docked in Sydney, Australia, a group of University of Sydney students secretly boarded the USS Bennington and successfully made their way to the bridge, where they turned on the PA and announced that the ship had been captured by Sydney University pirates. 29. In World War II, the Japanese Imperial Navy aircraft carrier Shinano was the largest carrier ever built up to that time and was sunk 10 days into her maiden voyage by the US Navy submarine Archerfish. The Shinano remains the largest warship ever sunk by a submarine. 28. An aircraft carrier can desalinate 400,000 gallons of seawater every day. 
27. Today, there are actually several varieties of aircraft carriers on active duty across the world's militaries. They include amphibious assault carriers, escort carriers, anti-submarine carriers, helicopter carriers, light aircraft carriers, and super carriers. 26. Airplanes can't take off from an aircraft carrier unless the carrier is moving at around 30 knots so that the wind generated can help them gain lift. 25. The catapults that help launch planes into the air can accelerate a plane from 0 to 186 miles per hour in under 2 seconds, and the pilots describe the feeling as being punched in the face. 24. Supercarriers can cover an area of 4.5 acres, or several city blocks. They're longer than most buildings are tall. 23. An aircraft carrier is powered by up to four propellers that measure 20 feet across and weigh up to 30 tons. 22. Each aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy is designed to last for 50 years. Ford-class carriers are designed to be modular in nature, leaving room for future technology and could have a lifetime of up to 75 years. 21. To land on a carrier, a pilot needs to snag one of four arresting wires with his plane's tail hook. But because the runway is so short, pilots actually have to accelerate their aircraft at full throttle the moment they touch down in case they missed a wire, so they don't go crashing into the ocean at the end of the runway. 20. Each arresting wire is made of extremely high tensile steel and can stop a 54,000-pound aircraft going 149 miles per hour in just two seconds. 19. In 2016, an arresting wire snapped aboard the U.S. carrier Dwight D. Eisenhower while attempting to bring an E-2C Hawkeye to a stop. The snapped wire sped across the deck and injured eight sailors, resulting in broken bones and a cracked skull. 18. Pilots say that landing on a moving carrier in the middle of the night amidst a pitching sea is about the scariest thing a person can do. 17. A miniature city, each aircraft carrier has multiple decks where it can do everything from house crew to repair aircraft and store missiles and bombs, basically making them a self-sufficient air force. 16. At the end of their service lives, aircraft carriers are either completely refitted and modernized before being put back to sea or sold to friendly nations. Rarely, they might be scrapped completely. 15. Aircraft carriers typically conduct strike missions, air superiority patrols, anti-submarine patrols, air traffic control, and airborne early warning missions, often all of them simultaneously. 14. Nuclear carriers are powered by nuclear reactors, which produce heat through nuclear fission, which in turn boils water and generates steam which creates electricity. In essence, nuclear carriers are actually steam-powered, and their engineering would be familiar to any mechanic from the Industrial Revolution. 13. A Nimitz-class carrier is powered by two nuclear reactors and delivers 260,000 horsepower to four propellers. 12. Nimitz-class carriers each cost about $4.5 billion, or one-fourth the price of a single Ford-class carrier. 11. C-130 Hercules aircraft are some of the largest transport planes in the world and can both take off and land on a modern supercarrier. 10. France is the only other nation beside the U.S. with a supercarrier. 9. The Navy's 10 current supercarriers all have 900 aircraft between them. 8. Aircraft carriers are the most powerful weapons in the world. In 1990, U.S. President Bill Clinton famously remarked, When word of crisis breaks out in Washington, it's no accident that the first question that comes to everyone's lips is, where's the nearest carrier? 7. Aircraft carriers are considered sovereign territory for the nation they belong to, even when docked. 6. Carriers are never deployed alone, but work while leading a battle group of at least six ships. A typical U.S. battle group consists of at least one destroyer, one frigate, two attack submarines, two guided missile cruisers, one guided missile destroyer, and a logistical support ship. 5. A U.S. battle group has more firepower at its disposal than most militaries on Earth. 4. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union considered American battle groups such a dire threat that they predicted the only way to defend against them would be by use of tactical nuclear weapons, risking an escalation to full-blown nuclear war. 3. A U.S. carrier air wing consists of three squadrons of F-A-18 Hornets for air superiority and ground attack, 
one squadron of F-14 Tomcats for fleet air defense and ground attack, one squadron of S-3B Vikings for airborne refueling, command and control, electronic warfare and surveillance, one squadron of EA-6B Prowlers for electronic warfare, one squadron of E-2C Hawkeyes for long-range early warning and control, and one squadron of SH-60 Seahawk helicopters for anti-submarine warfare, general utility, and assault operations. 2. The flight crew of a Nimitz-class carrier can launch two aircraft while simultaneously landing a third every 37 seconds during daylight and every 60 seconds at night. 1. At 11.01 a.m. on January 18, 1911, U.S. pilot Eugene Eli landed a Curtis Pusher aircraft on a specially built platform aboard the USS Pennsylvania, thus birthing the concept of an aircraft carrier. Know any other cool or amazing facts about aircraft carriers? What kind of innovations will the future see for these incredible weapons of war? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called 50 Surprising Facts About World War I. Thanks for watching, and as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.